Hey there, we've been getting a lot of requests from, uh, from readers who want to see all the new buildings. They want to get a little walking tour of what Nehemiah Vision Industries looks like now. So I'm going to take you guys on a little tour, um, just kind of quickly go through and show you what some of the new buildings look like, and uh, hopefully it'll help. So um, just so you know where we are, here's the, uh, the main gate. Yeah, now there's a gate. And, uh, and over here is the buildings that some of you might recognize, the uh, church building, which is now a dorm for volunteers, and the clinic. We'll go over there in a second. One thing you might notice is there are a whole bunch of tents up all over the place. This tent, this big one, is the church. This is where people meet, and it is packed full every Sunday. 600, 700 people fit in there. Um, and if you look over here, you can see more tents, and those are used for storage. They've got a lot of uh, supplies. They've got uh, building supplies, food, distribution, that kind of thing in those tents. And over here, we have uh, a whole bunch of new tent-like structures, including this uh, building right here, which is going to be for long-term housing for volunteers. Uh, there are going to be people living here, including my good friend Aaron Elliott from Grace Community Church, uh, with his family, are going to be living here at least for a year. And uh, that's where they're going to be staying. And if you look over here, you can see the construction is, is underway for a couple other buildings. We've got these giant, like, tent-type things. Now these are, uh, they're kind of like tents, but they're also kind of like buildings. They can be fully uh, enclosed, you can have them uh, air-conditioned, and each one of these is going to be used as volunteer uh, quarters and, and uh, dorms for uh, volunteer teams, for uh, visiting missionaries, pastors who want to use this place as a, as a retreat center and that sort of thing. Um, you can see some people here are working. And uh, so that's what these are going to be for. Right now they're being used for storage. Alright, right now we are on the front steps of the clinic slash office. Uh, in here are a couple rooms that people use uh, to do administrative work. Pastor Pierre's office is in there. And the back side of this building is the clinic. I'll walk you around there, but there's a giant generator that is making a lot of noise. Um, it is keeping power to the campus 24-7, but it also makes a constant din in the background. But in here you'll see uh, there's already people lined up. It's still pretty early in the morning. There's people lined up ready to, uh, to see the doctor. So back through there is the clinic. Okay, so there's the clinic over there. This is the old church, which is now a dorm. If you look over here, you can see a whole bunch more tents that are being used for storage. And uh, right here is the, uh, the dining hall, which is currently a dining hall, and I believe it's going to be used as some sort of uh, meeting room once they uh, finish those tent-like structures. They're going to put a dining hall over there. So, All right, and the final stop is off here in the uh, the corner. What is this? The uh, maybe the northwestish corner, north southwestish, whatever. This is the brand new hospital that is going to be built, um, and this is going to be a full-on hospital. What they have right now is a clinic where a doctor and a couple nurses help out um, during the day. But here is going to be a place where they're actually going to be able to house patients. They're going to be able to have um, full-time medical staff. It's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty significant. In fact, uh, Nehemiah Vision Ministries has already literally put Shambron on the map. Um, I think this is going to turn Shambron into a major hub um, for the many people who need help in this place. If you look off to the uh, horizon, um, there is a tent village that kind of crawls up the whole side of that hill. It's this massive community of IDPs, and they're within um, just a couple hours walking of distance from here or um, 15 minutes by motorbike taxi. So this is going to be a significant place for the communities that are still suffering from the devastating results of the earthquake. Alright, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the walking tour. See ya.